Yeah, I mean, um, these kind of stuff happen. Um, I'm, it's fixable. Um, yeah, I'm just glad I got a run tonight. Um, but um, yeah, these, these kind of stuff happen and um, that's fixable. It's not something, that's not a big sweat for me. Um, obviously not the ideal start, the perfect start. I want it and the team want it, but um, yeah, I'm just glad I got the gap tonight and yeah, that's fixable. Were you surprised with Oscar coming in as well? No, I spoke to Coach Coach Ross. Um, he spoke to me actually half time, and he, he called me and he said that the game is going to be tight, or the game is tight, and then he's he's planning to put me on at ten. So I'm just so I um, got myself ready for that. Um, yeah, so he spoke to me at half time. Yeah, I mean, have you kind of in your mind uh, got a position that you prefer? Well, I'm a fly off. Um, I prefer fly off, and um, but for me, fullback is just as. Um, I prefer fullback as well, and um, yeah, I'm available anywhere coach wants me to pick me. You know, I'm, I'll, I'll be available to, to to play there. You know, and give my best, <coughs> and give my all for the jersey and for the team. Damien, um, yeah, I know a lot of other guys speak about your maturity and just like a young guy. Where does that maturity come from? Well, I mean, um, first of all, I think always for for a young guys stepping up, you know, um, it's important to. Outwork and outlearn, you know. Um, so that's just what I'm trying to do, you know. Learn from other players um, and just take it all, throw it in one basket, shake it up, and see what we come up with. And um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do: is just outwork and outlearn them. And um, yeah, I mean that's something I have to work on as a fly off and being a young guy coming through the ranks, um, guiding the team. You know, you need the mature fly off. You need a, a good quarterback. Um, I think um, that maturity is, is, is really important. There's quite a big hype around you and your future. Um, how, do you, how do you see that? How do you handle that? And how do you stop that from getting to your head? Well, for me, it's simple, you know. Um, wake up tomorrow morning, the sun is going to shine, and I just need to keep on working hard. You know, as I said, I, I made a couple of mistakes. So as soon as I can get to the drawing board to work on that, and um, you know, just stay in the moment. Let the main thing stay the main thing. I think the guys are drilling. I mean, are drilling uh, really well. Um, I mean, considering that we've only played three tests together, and un like under Coach Rassi. So I mean, I think every day we just keep on building. Well, I felt he was in a better, I mean, position to score, so I came in for the score. Well, for me, the most important thing is us getting the result. I mean, I mean, it doesn't help us score 50 tries and we lose all of those games. I mean, so if I can score two tries in 20 games and we win all those 20 games. That's more important than, like for me than scoring 50 tries and becoming top try scorer. Steve, do you feel like uh, each game you feel a bit more assured or confident in the, in the box setup? Is it, do you feel yourself kind of becoming more, more comfortable at chess level? Well, as I said, I mean, uh, <coughs> we just <coughs> keep on building as a team, like as a collective. And obviously, I think with the guys, you know, the senior guys around me, you know, they keep like motivating me as well, you know, to keep on improving on myself. And I mean, I've taken upon myself to try and improve on my game, and I mean, to complement the guys around me in like in the way that I play. I think that's a, a tip from top. Is it something that you guys have um, It was, but at like at the time it happened. I mean, it was something that came off the cuff, and I mean, I guess I was alert for the moment. And you know, uh, grateful that I like, I like I managed to score the try. Michael, um, Ross has said a lot of times that you would have started again in England if you had not been the COVID injured. Um, how disappointing was that, and how satisfying is it now that you're back on your journey to make your, your test debut? Uh, yeah, it was disappointing at the time. Um, I did all the preparation, and at the last minute of the last game of the Super Rugby, I got injured. And I was disappointed, but I still believe everything happens for a reason and the right time will come for everything. And I just had to work harder to get back in the group. And uh, it was like motivation for me just to work harder to just get back. Michael, um, we are playing now 
Yeah, it was a great feeling. Um, going up for the for the ball and then looking back and then there goes intercept and then it's a try. But you can't let those moments uh, stop you from playing the game. You have to work for the next moment and forget about it and just work hard to, to get it, get them back. Yeah. yeah, it was very satisfying just ending off the game. But uh, that's a lot of help for of the forwards. I mean, it's uh, just the tackles. If it's a chop tackle, it makes it a lot easier for, for the poacher to get in. So, yeah, it's not, not a one man effort. Marky, what's been uh, key to, uh, for you to get to this point, uh, playing for the box? Are you a guy who's been following the traditional route? I mean, what's been uh, really the thing that stood out for you in terms of your work rate or what you've done just to get where you are? Uh, just keep believing and keep working hard and uh, don't let anyone tell you nothing is possible nothing is possible if you keep working hard just focusing on your goal you will achieve it it's been always my dream to to wear that green and gold jersey and uh, there was tough times, there have been tough times, injuries, um, not playing, not getting chosen for teams. But yeah, I just had to keep on believing and trusting God, His plan, and um, just keep working hard for that goal. Yeah. Marco, when you go, when you go back to your hotel room, you come to your funeral camp, you're going to sit there for a moment and just take all this and it's been a, one hell of a year for you so far. Yeah, no, it's been probably a dream year in, in terms of rugby. I, started with a varsity cup, never thought I would even be close to this green and gold jersey. Um, so yeah, it still feels, feels like a dream. Uh, reality will kick in later, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my mom and dad is here. Um, also got one of my close mates here. So yeah, my family's here today. And uh, <coughs> Well, um, for me as a, as a fly you know, it's always important to keep sharping up on, on certain stuff. I, I feel like my kicking game needs a lot of um, work. Um, um, definitely my defense, you know, that's something which we saw tonight. Um, Argentina bringing the big hole carriers down that channel. So, um, yeah, that's something I'm always trying to work on. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of areas where I can still try and learn my game on. Um, and then definitely I'll go back tomorrow go have a look at the game and see what I can improve myself on. Do you pick someone in Africa? Just for Marco, just your thoughts on the game and establish who you are in South Africa and in Africa. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a long, it's a long tour. Um, my friends are obviously so many jet lag problems. And it's always difficult to go to Argentina. We have all played well in the Jaguars. In the same conditions, in the same moments. So uh, that's tough. But I think it's my mother's head and if you want to put one of us, you know, put us, I think it's going to be more of that, yeah. Playing it when you're here, well, it's, it's, it's quite difficult at the moment. Um, I, w I didn't think I would, I would be sitting here um, at the age of 20 years. Um, always believed I could, but um, yeah, sitting here tonight, you know, it's mixed emotions. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really happy um, that I obviously, we got the result we wanted, um, and um, yeah, it's just massive honor and a privilege, you know, to have won the, the Springbok jersey. You know, there's been a lot of Springboks that, that came and they went, you know, um, and that's not part of my plan. That's not part of who we want to be. You know, we want to be great Springboks, and not just another Springbok who came and had a jersey and then they left. You know, um, and obviously there's a plan, and we're working really hard towards that plan. Can you support Ben? Yeah, I mean, um, Andre and Alton has been very uh, really instrumental this week. You know, Andre is always helping with the plays and the finer details, um, telling me where to look, what to try and look for after certain phases of the game. You know, and Alton, you know, he just 
it's just keeping me calm throughout the week, you know. So, you know, I mean, a guy like Billy as well from fullback, you know. Um, you know I'm, and, I, and I'm just smoking all the information I can from guys like that, you know. And for me, it's, I'm, I'm grateful for Coach Rashi, you know, to have guys like them in the group who I can learn from and just improve on my game. And at the end of the day, that's just going to make the team so much better. And, um, you know, it's great to have players like them. Okay, thank you very much.